Hello there guys, it's me, Zayla Sudra, and this will be my last video of the year. I, I'm actually excited for next year. This year was kind of like exciting, we did a lot of fun things this year. I just, I want to get more on the ball next year, you know, get things rolling, have more fun next year. And maybe make things more entertaining and more art for the masses, <laughs> more art just in general. What harm could it do? So for this video, I decided to finish off the ceramic that I did for my, my uh, ceramic college classes. And I'm gonna show the entire process that I went through as I painted them. Um, you can also see at the end, I'm gonna show what they looked like before they were finished and what they look like now. I'll show you all of my ceramics and probably even some parts of creating them, all the videos I recorded throughout the semester. This is me painting the ceramics after it's been fired already. and. I'm painting with acrylic paint. See, the reason I wanted to originally paint these were because they came out pretty bland in my eyes. They, they fired only once and I only glazed them once and they look so dark and kind of like metallic, which I don't hate the style, but I just don't, I don't like how colorless it is. So I just wanted to add some color to it and make it all vibrant and make it look like it's something of a natural beauty or something, I don't know, like maybe something you see inside of nature. Now this is one of my gigantic pots. This one was like my final for the semester, for the ceramics class. My professor made us um, make two gigantic pots, and I did make two of these good guys. One of them ended up flinging itself and breaking inside of the flames while I was in the kiln. Um, he made it out alive. Dude, we had to go. Why? What are you talking about? He's here. Who's he? Him. Okay, who's him? He is him. It's just, um, I put him, I'm an it, in the garden of abandoned pots, where we'll be abandoned forever. Um, although, good news, at least, um, the pots, they usually get pictures taken of them, and people really like that garden because it's really great for photography. So at least it's that. It'll be remembered. Um, even though it's cracked, and it's sad a little bit. Uh, and I probably won't show it because I didn't paint it. I just, I made it, and then I was like, oh, and it's cracked, I'm just gonna put it inside of the garden of abandoned pots forever. All right, Peter, my gigantic pot thing gave me a jigger. You were loved, and then you were lost. And now you will be abandoned, but you'll forever be remembered, or something along those lines. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing right here is called the scrubbing technique, at least, um, it's like stamping almost. You put the color of the paint on to it, and then you wipe it off, and then it gets into the crevices. And that creates this colored layer underneath. I already etched into it using the scraffito technique before it was um, fired the second time, or the first time actually. And it makes these really nice colors super vibrant, and it shows the line work that I created on the work. So, um, this one too. I didn't go with a scrubbing technique on this one. I just kind of just placed the color down, just to try and get some vibrancy. I wanted it to show up more. It was so dull before. So I like this really colorful <laughs> pot thing. From far away, people always says that this looks like a bust, like a, a figure of some sort. Um, more figural, human, um, than I thought it would be. It kind of looked like a turnip to me when I first made it, but I do understand what people mean by figural and human form. I put a, my flower pot that I made, the very first pot I ever made was the flower one. So I put that into the top of it, because it actually fits for some reason, and I tried to make them look like they blend together. Alright, now cue the videos I took over the semester. This is the pinch pot project. The very first project we were assigned to do. I did a number of six pots, I'm pretty sure. Any sculptors out there want to kind of help me with some ideas? Like, I have no idea. Like, how do you make petals? I'm, I'm really thinking of like ways that this would make 
a really cool pedal, but I don't understand the, what's the best way to create a pedal for this. And also, it's like a really good balanced way to create um, like a top for this that's like shaped like this. You know, like it has like a nice little inside. I don't know. I feel like that's gonna be hard. Um, and it might even be hard to make this one too, because I kind of want it to be like a, a the top for like a pumpkin, and then have like a little stem, and the stem is the handle. You take that off, and then you, it's like a, you can hold it in your hand. I might make it bigger, coil out a little bit, but yeah, so far that's where I'm at with that one. Just need some advice, a little bit of advice would, would help me. And these are the pinch pots after they have been scraffitoed on. They aren't fired just yet. I didn't fire them yet uh, at this time. The soft slab slash hard slab project was actually the one we did the second time around. Um, we had to do a number of them, she said, just as long as we had something to look at. Um, so I just went in. I went in and had fun. I even made spoons. Let's get back to the pinch pots. So these are them after they were officially scraffitoed and finished. I hadn't fired them just yet, they were still... This is still before the kiln firing. And here they are, off to be fired. These are the two big pots. On the left side is the big one that fell in the kiln. And, and the figure one right here is the other one that I painted um, for this video. Yeah, this is what they look like before they were fired. And this is what they all look like after they've been fired. So these are the cups and the, all, all of them just like all placed together. You got the small pots and the, even the slot project all put together and some tests as well as the spoons and the big pots and so this is more slap projects all right that is the end of the video i hope you guys have a nice day goodbye